Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Warframe. Right now, Cronin is not here, but I decided to do this pre before he gets on, and I just heard that message, that might be him. But other than that, the new update for Warframe has finally here. It... It's good, like, this is a really amazing update. And I'm excited for it. Like, this is finally the one that we've been waiting for. The one for the Railjacks. Where we can forge ships. And go on new styles of combat. That me and Cronin have been excited to do for a long, long time. Indigestion. So, we're going to read this quickly first. And see if there's any hidden message or something. Are you enjoying the view? Yes. Shut up. We're going to see if there's anything special in this message before we go and take care of that. And I'm going to make sure to start this again by the time that Cronin gets on. So I'll see you guys uh, when I get there after I read this. Dry Dock Schema. Operator. Last cycle during routine star count, I detected something unusual. A pattern hidden in the redshift data. I did not want to worry you about my sensory stability, so I ran an autonomous scan. I found something. Base schematic data, previously corruption flagged, was whole again. The weave works in unexpected ways. Did I receive parody bits from some unknown source? As you know, my flight capabilities are confined to the orbiter here and her companion lander, but this new base structure might interest you and your fellow Tenno. You, your most stable Cephalon Ordis. Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and as I promised, I am back and now with special guest and fellow clan member and friend and fellow YouTuber, Cronin. Greater. Welcome everyone to the Warframe's new expansion, Rising Tide. Me and Cronin, as I said in the intro of this video, we have been waiting for this update for so long. We've been wanting like this type of combat in the game for like a very long time since Second Dream. And yes. I wanted to save this part of the video for when we both get to experience the new interior design of the Lasset ships, and then me and Cronin, we're going to do and see how long it takes for us, the best we can on live camera, of getting the things and rebuilding our dojo to how we need it for making our railjack and its hangar. Are you ready, Cronin? Let yes. us take a look inside the Lasset ship. Oh my god. I actually like this, and the lighting in here is actually so much smoother. It's not... It is a bit better, isn't it? it they got the shadows and everything. And I like the window on the top. It brings more lighting. I always wondered, like, what's the point of all the hanging wires and all that in the roof? Like, is they ever going to have, like, a point to those? And they finally got rid of it. They gave us a ceiling light. What happens if we interact with things? Is everything new? I will say one thing. One thing that I noticed, and I think they saw complaints about it, uh, lore-wise, list sets are supposed to be a lot mm -hmm. larger. When you look at them dropping you off, it looks like you're in a much it smaller does. ship. If you look at the scale of your Warframe being dropped off in that lower pod versus how large the ship is and how much you walk in it from your back on your orbiter, it seems kind of like they didn't have the scale correct. Now it looks like the scale is actually full and correct. It looks so nice in here, and I love all the new designs for all the machines. Oh my god, even the mods machine looks better. Oh yeah, everything looks better. It looks like better. a 3D printer. It kind of does. Not going to lie, it, I mean... Yeah, it does kind of look like my 3D printer now that I'm thinking about it. That glass looks And the similar. foundry looks like a larger scale 3D printer, and it doesn't have that little servo arm that builds things anymore. I wonder what it looks like when it's constructing. You know what? I want to see that now. Do I have anything I can freely construct? I should. Uh, here we go. Yeah, claim this formal and... Oh, okay. That, well, that's it. Uh, pfft. Uh, sure. Make a, a random distilling extractor prime. There we go. 
Let me look at this. Oh, that's cool! The thing slides side to side and it's doing like a scanning process on all the little data cubes on the table. That is actually cool. I am liking this. Let's go down. Uh, let's see, the station for the relics actually looks a lot better and I like the looks it looks like there's a new texture redesign on the uh the relic that's floating inside this sphere here that looks really cool let's see the basement area dark and looming that's for sure and is there a change in the infested room besides how it looks literally ominous now because of how dark it is oh my god i'm kind of creeped out Okay, so Infested Room still kind of looks the same, but I'm seeing some definitely changes in some of the textures, as well as some of the coloring. Uh, still got this random surgical-looking bed in this greenery here that's been infested. I'm just wondering if we're ever going to need to use that bed for some reason. Uh, let's see, let's check our little luxury room here. I uh, still got my fish, and everything in here still looks the same. Okay, okay. And the operator's room still looks the same. Okay. Oh, oh, I know that's. I was about to say it was something just flying out of the pod. No, that's just the uh, eph ephemera that I have on my operator. Okay. So, now that we got that out of the way, me and Cronin, we are going to be checking in to see about the mission we have to do, because we know we have to do, by the looks of it, something, because we have to go, like, to certain areas to scan for the thing, but first we need to make the actual hangar. So we will be right back when we get to our dojo. Okay, and here we are, in the dojo. So... We need to fix this place up, because me and Cronin, we made this place, as you can see on the map, very compact. We did not plan for them to make any updates that relates to the dojos, but now they did. So because of that, we're going to have to really expand, right, Cronin? So, yeah. let us... Plan that out. What are we looking at, Cronin? What do you think? Uh. I don't know. Okay, it looks like Cronin's, um, <laughs> Cronin.exe has just broke. Uh, I say, first things first we need to do is to see if we can upgrade this clan room into... A grand hall room. So. Also, I've given you authorizations to build. All right. How do you have the same ability? How do I, I do. do that? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I haven't built something in the dojo in like years. Uh, okay. Let's uh see what we can do. I guess. Let's see, that's that's decorating. Check. Uh, room options. Ah. Yeah, this allows us to decorate, but we need... Uh... We'll be right back. Cronin's trying to... Cronin's trying to suffocate himself in the vent again. Okay, so we just came back from our dojos. Right now, all the rooms are under renovations, let's say. Like, because we're moving things around and we don't want to sit there for two hours doing nothing. So, what we're going to do is, we're also going to see if there's, like, a mission that we might have to do in order to go and f find, like, where these things are for the rail jacks. And if not, then it looks like we're going to be doing some other things. So, let's take a look here. I know. Found it. Uh, Rising Tide, the second dream quest, uh, is one of the things we have to do, which we both done. Uh, build dry dock room in Dojo. 
Research Cephalon Psy at Dry Dock Research Console and build Cephalon Psy in Foundry. Okay. Why do I honestly feel like I'm going to hate Cephalon Psy? Um, I... I have, I have a sneaking suspicion that they will be annoying. Well, and all I could say is as long as they're not repetitive in the same thing they say like Ordis, I will be fine with it. They're probably going to be like Ordis. <laughs> This is why I have Ordis entirely muted. I'm scared. So, I guess while we wait for uh, the dojo to be de deconstructed, uh, I guess we'll go Kuvalich hunting in this episode. Are you kidding? Sentience in the middle of a mobile defense? Oh, no, don't scan me! No, no way! Don't scan me! Do not touch me! Yeah, sh shoot at the sentience, that's right. Shoot the sentience, not the console. No, I said shoot the sentience, not the console. What? When did they add that? Um, this is not good. I may be screwed. What is it? Apparently, the sentience can now scramble the systems and stop the. They just just. Okay, and getting my anti-sentient Excalibur apparently. Put this in. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Sentient scouts. If they detect you, this will soon attack. Alright, sentience, where are you? No! Sentient, where are you? Where is it? Yep, dead and dead. Okay, that took me a little bit. I also just remembered that I could still actually use other frames, but I have to use the Paracesis sword. Mm, I don't know. How goes farming? Oh, it's going all right. Right now, I'm doing trying to see if I can do survival. I thought there was a Thrall Heavy Gunner! I'm doing it as Saren, being that she's one of the best Warframes at survival with the build I have for her. 
I even upgraded some of my Umbro mods. So yeah. now I have a lot more health and other things going for me. But for some Warframes, might not be as good, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. Hello, Flashes. What was that? Oh, Red Veil. How nice of you to drop by. Have you met my friend Cronin? He says you should not kill me. Oh, you're not gonna listen? Well, fine. That's right, that's right, that's right, get incinerated! Some non bread. <laughs> it's so tasty. Oh, no. I may be in deep doo doo. Okay. Mm, time to put my plan into action. Which direction is he in? Okay, that's not him. Ah, uh, no, I'm seeing people harm my thing. No. Leave it alone. Go after this thing. Might as well give this a shot. This is probably gonna fail, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Natra is not the first. Ow. Anytime you can let me revive. Oh, you dick. There. So that's fine. My plan's working. I'm already a step ahead of them. I already got one of the murmurs. All I have to do is just avoid doing you know, doing that stuff again for future. And pretty much he'll become easy street at that point. And now I know Netra is not the first one. So because of that, I'm now going to move it. Take all the time you want, Tenno. I'm just getting stronger. Yeah, you're getting stronger, but you I'm... Know, as I watched you hack my limbs off, I thought to myself, I really don't like this person. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think they're kind of symbolizing what they are with the two things. I want to give that a try. So let's put this there. Put that there. Because I think they're symbolizing where it goes like that. Or not. Because a lot of these are oh, that, okay. so Didn't that can't that? be it. It said I think that's just uses. Cosmic background radiation is a riot. 
And on that note, we're actually gonna be all out of time for this episode. We'll make sure to continuate part two of this episode later on when we actually get to work on our uh, new dojo, especially now that I'm able to also use the architect role because at first it was uh, only Cronin of why it's also kind of slow as well as we didn't know if there was going to be future things that's going to be related to the dojo and when we found out there was already so many other things happening that we could barely actually prepare for that on Warframe but we're going to be able to now so I'm going to make sure during today because it's a new day now uh, I'm going to be working on like getting everything deconstructed and then we're going to reconstruct the entirety of the dojo in a new so that way we have a completely reconstructed like place that's what we're going to do we're going to make sure there's a completely reconstructed place uh for us and we're of course we're going to make sure to put in the hangar it's going to be a very very great thing trust us you guys will love it when we're done i'm hoping so with that being said Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ding that bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto our channel. And let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. It's delicious.